So when endothelium is injured, when endothelium is injured, number one, there is loss of vasodilators. Number two, immediately endothelial cell produces a dangerous product. Endothelin, have you heard of it? Endothelin. Endothelin is produced by injured endothelial cells. Endothelin is produced by injured endothelial cells and endothelin act on the smooth muscle and contract them. Endothelin act on the smooth muscle then lead to their contraction. So, you see that vascular system is so intelligent that whenever you injure the vascular system, right, it immediately undergo constriction at the injured point and this constriction is mediated by neuronal mechanisms, they are mediated by myogenic mechanism and constriction is also mediated by endothelin release. There are three things which constrict the vessel, right, whenever vessel is injured, neuronal mechanism, myogenic mechanism and endothelium derived endothelin. All these factors lead to vasoconstriction. So, injured vessel should constrict and blood flow to that area should be reduced so that chances of blood loss should be less. less. Meanwhile, the real action start. What is the real action? The real action is these endothelial cells are no more there. When these endothelial cells are no more there, it means from this part of the circulatory system, there is loss of antiplatelet properties and there is loss of anticoagulant properties. Are you understanding me? Of course, injured area where endothelium is not there, do you think that will be producing nitric oxide and prostacyclines? Not. So, there are no more platelet anti-aggregator. Plus, this area will not have thrombomodulin. This area will not ha have heparin sulfate. So, anticoagulant properties are also lost. Rather, injured cell will start producing a very strange type of molecules. Let me show you those molecules. Some molecules start jumping from here and here. They are coming from where? From injured endothelial cells. These are angry endothelial cells. They are not going to smile. They are going to cry. And they cry in a chemical way. They produce a special chemical substance and that chemical substance, look here, this chemical substance, these are tears of endothelial cell, all these tears will come here, right? These molecules will, now these molecules are funny molecules, you look at, they look like funny. Actually, these molecules have sticking point with which they can stick to underlying exposed collagen. These are the molecules which are produced by injured endothelial cell and they can hook with the underlying collagen and then look at these points, look here. They are having special hooks there. You know what they are going to hook? They are going to hook the platelets, right? Any platelet which come near, right, to this injured area will get hooked because platelet have receptors which will get hooked with these molecules. What these molecules are doing? Attention please, these red molecules are produced by injured endothelial cell and these red molecule make the surface, exposed surface very, very sticky to platelets. It's just like that dying, dead and dying endothelial cell release the product which is sticky material and this sticky material is pasted over here and the sticking gum on one side stick on the exposed collagen, another side stick on the platelets and any platelet would by chance hit here will never go back, it will get stick over there. Uh, you, you are going to tell me the name of these molecules. I can bet that you have heard of them so many times. Okay, Dr. Uh, she is going to tell us the name of these molecules, please. Not interested. Yes, please. Okay, I can say you have heard of it. It is written here, von Willebrand factor. Do you think I am just funny making things like this? <laughs> this is standing for von Willebrand factor. So, next time you have to remember that injured endothelial cells produce a sticking glue. The sticking glue is? One deliberate factor which make a paste over the injured area. On one side, one deliberate factor can stick to the subendothelial 
extra cellular matrix of collagen. On other side, it can stick, it has receptors on what? Platelets. So, von Willebrand factor love to hook the platelet with themselves. If really you want to be very, very sure, okay, on the platelets, there are special type of, you know, receptors which can fit into von Willebrand factors, right? Someone who is really educated may tell, tell me the name of these receptors. These are the green receptors on the surface of the platelets. Look, if this is a platelet, platelet is having thousands of such molecules and these molecules act as a receptor where von Willebrand molecule can stick. Right, what is the name of this receptor? Yes, please. This is a glycoprotein. You know why I'm asking this name? Because in some people, these receptors are not made. So they do have platelets, but their platelets don't plug. Do you get it? And they show the disease which looks as if platelet deficiency is there. But actually platelets are there, but they're deficient in their capability to stick. Because platelets do not have receptor for one Willebrand factor. Right? This this uh, receptor is called, yes please, anyone? GP. Glycoprotein, yes, GP? 1A or, or something, yes, GP1B, right? These are called glycoprotein 1B. You may be thinking it's a very complex name, but thank God doctor did not, some doctor did not put the name of uh, like Mr. Ahsan Haseem receptors. This could be also. So they just call it glycoprotein number 1B. So glycoprotein 1B present on the platelet act as the receptors for von Willebrand factors so that whenever any area is injured, von Willebrand factor should be able to stick to these receptors on the platelets and platelets will get adherent to the injured area. This process of adherence of, this process of adherence of platelets to the injured endothelium or to the injured subendothelial exposed collagen. This process is called platelet adhesion. Now, how do you define platelet adhesion? Platelet adhesion is a process in which platelet stick to non-platelet surface, that's it. Platelet stick to some surface which is not platelet. What is platelet adhesion? Platelet adhesion is a process and during which platelet stick to a surface which is non-platelet surface. Am I clear? This is platelet adhesion.